In our last installment, we struggled a bit with getting some smooth and consistent cycling from this Remington 81. It's an oldie but a goodie. So today we're going to spend some time and uh, take this down and clean it thoroughly. This is not a detailed video on how to do that. I will point you in the direction of a good one. Just an overall general discussion. Well, hey guys, this is DR Drake 63 with uh, the latest edition of This Old Gun. Well, I guess it's the only edition of this old gun. I've taken some stuff down and looked at some older firearms, but uh, this is definitely the oldest one I've tackled as a project. And what you're looking at here is uh, the Remington Model 81 from 1937 in pieces. And uh, I'm fairly certain just based on what it took to get this stock off and some other things that this firearm has never been taken down for cleaning. Uh, just more lube thrown in there, caking things up. So what does that leave us with? That leaves us with a pretty hefty cleanup job, which you can see some of the evidence of it right here. You know, you're talking about not only clean up old uh, dirt and oil, but also cleaning up um, basically a little bit of rust. And so we've got this looking pretty good on the inside now. Um, you know, they don't make them like they used to. This is uh, 82 years old, guys, and to, to let you know just how old it is, the action spring, which runs down the back here, is held in place by this plug, which, as you can see, is made out of wood. How crazy is that? How crazy is that? Not only is it made out of wood, um, it looks like it's starting to get a little bit of a crack going here, so we have to be careful with it. Um, I'm sure this is a part that could be somewhat improvised. I don't want to have to go out and buy it, though. So, But basically, um, we had determined from some failure-to-feed issues that there's problems with the magazine spring. You can't see it, uh, but this is basically supposed to be a, a six-leaf folding magazine spring. One of the leaves was broken off. It had been installed backwards, and the follower was upside down. Other than that, it was a great shape. Uh, so anyway, I've got a new spring on ordered. We hope that's going to help. But I figured, you know what? Let's learn about this firearm. Let's take it down. Let's clean it. Let's make sure that we've done all the stuff that we can do to get this functioning uh, better than it has been, which is a little bit of a, of a jam issue. Just based on cycling some rounds by hand and some things like that, um, straightening out... For the time being, this magazine issue um, seems to be headed in the right direction, but we're going to make sure that uh, that we've got it clean and lube and ready to go. So I'm not going to break down in detail for you how to do this. Um, there are actually a couple really good videos if you if you look them up on YouTube for how to disassemble. Um, there's one in particular of a of a of a, gus, a gunsmith. Gentleman's name is Jim Green, and the name of his company is Gunworks. So make sure you check this out. It's a good Basically, one. Basically, we're just taking our time. We took pictures of parts before we took them out. So uh, we'll see how she reassembles. Okay. Well, I'm glad to say I got her back together. No extra parts. Just took my time. Um, the real hard part, my understanding of this, is taking this uh, shroud off there's some springs in here you need some spanner wrenches and some special tools uh and i don't think i'm gonna fool with that i i think if it comes down to that i do know a gunsmith that works on these but um you know we saw lots of dirt we saw lots of gunk up inside of here um i didn't buy this to be a museum piece i came by this because i want to have something that is going to uh, be a functional piece of history um, as such, I wasn't afraid to say, hey, let's go into this and learn what we can. Lots of moving parts inside this receiver, but not too bad, not too bad. Uh, so we're going to find out. The only thing left to do is change out the new spring. I can do that without a complete takedown. I can do that just uh, right through the receiver. But uh, pretty happy that uh, everything seems to be doing what it's supposed to be doing. And uh, I think, if anything, we've improved the function. So where the rubber meets the road on these kind of projects is, does the firearm do what it's supposed to do? 
bolt hold open, slam shut, going to do one dry fire. Everything seems to be doing what she's supposed to. Um, I did not take the bolt apart. Um, that is a pretty complicated, arduous process, and uh, it's easy enough to just uh, clean the stuff out inside the springs, spring around the firing pin, things that mechanism. And uh, I went with some CLP, uh, break free, in terms of um, uh, relubing it. I'm not a big fan of, of uh, throwing rem oil on a lot of internal working point, uh, parts. CLP holds its viscosity better and does better in more temperatures than uh, REM oil does. So uh, there's going to be some guys that chime in and say, hey man, why didn't you use grease? But uh, I'm going to actually uh, take a few more test shots with this prior to getting the spring just for the heck of it. It only cost me, what, buck fifty a bullet? But uh, anyway, this is DR Drake 63. And um, this old gun, I guess for lack of a, a, better, uh, a better title for this project. But uh, you've seen some projects with some... Uh, uh, Marlin uh, 22s and things like that. Something like this is a lot more gun, has a lot more capability and uh, a lot more history, certainly. But uh, um, I'm having fun. I hope you enjoy watching and we'll see where we go with this.